Hey everyone, in this video, let's compare Apple Notes with Microsoft OneNote. In order to do so, here we are in the App Store for iOS. And if you're unfamiliar with Notes and you have an iOS device, then that's somewhat surprising just in that Notes is pretty standard in any iOS device and doesn't typically need to be downloaded. You probably already have it there. And if you haven't taken advantage of it, well, I would say that uh, Apple Notes for me is my primary note-taking app. It's something that I use all the time. And one of the best things about it that I discovered somewhat recently is that you can go to iCloud.com and you can log in there in order to gain access to your notes, which is really nice when you're working on PC and you want to be able to have access to your Apple Notes. So that's kind of a big deal. And uh, I'm uh, sad that it took me so long to figure it out. But now that I have figured it out, it um, definitely makes my life a lot easier when using Apple Notes. And I really quite like the way that Apple Notes is set up. You have your folders that you can create and you can even put tags on your different notes. So it's much easier to keep everything organized and know where it is at all times. Let's go ahead and compare Apple Notes with Microsoft OneNote. So we'll head back here and here we have OneNote. And with OneNote, we have somewhat of a similar idea in that if you have OneNote installed on your different devices, then it does allow you to be able to access your notes from those different devices. You can have them synced up. So that's very helpful. And if you're looking for a good note taking app that will allow you to do that and you don't have an iOS device, then you might want to consider Microsoft OneNote. Now, there are other note taking apps that you might consider, but for most people who are used to Microsoft's suite of services, if you have a PC, a laptop, then Microsoft OneNote might be a good idea for you. So you can confidently remember and organize your ideas, capture thoughts, photos, and ink to everything in between. One place for all your notes. And if you're at all familiar with Apple Notes, then you'll see here that OneNote uh, is really quite similar. Uh, they both have a lot in common. But uh, the main thing difference, the main difference being that if you don't have an iOS device, I mean, Microsoft OneNote might be your best bet. Although, again, there are several great note taking apps out there. So you might take a look around and see what works best for you. You can even use drawing. If you like using that stylus, then you can uh, express yourself with ink in Microsoft OneNote, instantly convert handwriting to text. Do more with OneNote on iPad. So if you do have an iPad, then OneNote is there and it definitely has a nice uh, look to it. Uh, your ultimate trip planner. So you can uh, even uh, plan your trips. Let's see exactly how we might go about that. I think this is just uh, in order to take notes and make lists and things of that sort. You can um, have your map here and just kind of map out where you're going to be going for your trips. Capture anything, access anywhere. So that gives you an idea of Microsoft OneNote versus Apple Notes. We have a rating of 4.6 out of 154,000 with OneNote. And with Apple Notes, we're looking at 4.8, but only a number of ratings 38,000. So obviously OneNote seems to be quite popular and that kind of makes sense because not everybody is going to have access to Apple Notes. But if you have an Apple device, I definitely recommend taking a look at Apple Notes. Otherwise, you might want to check out Microsoft OneNote. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.